In this video, we will cover two simple methods of adding touchscreens and extra monitors to Microsoft Flight Simulator, explain and prepared. If you have old monitors, tablets, or smartphones laying around, this may be a good time to get them out. This video is actually very useful, as well as the other ones recently published, so please make sure to like, subscribe, share, and check out my channel. When it comes to gaming, you obtain the best performance connecting your main monitors directly to your primary graphics card, but you will eventually run out of ports available. For instruments in the cockpit or navigation, we actually don't need the best resolution or even the best monitors. To show you an example, here's one of my simple familiarization trainers. All instruments are loaded perfectly on old tablets and flight instrument panels from Logitech. I can also load radio panels and GPS navigation programs such as Navigraph, ForeFlight, or SkyVector for charts. The first method we will talk about is a USB to video adapter. It's the fastest and easiest way to add any monitor with a VGA, DVI, or HDMI connection, but just remember that your frame rates can take a minor hit. I use the pluggable USB 2.0 to video graphics adapter. You can download the drivers and software directly from their website and once installed, just plug in your monitor and make sure Windows extends the desktop to that display and you are all set. You can now use the monitor in your simulator. The other cool option is to use your tablet as a touchscreen for your instruments or navigation. You can set this up to work through a LAN or a wireless connection, meaning this can be completely portable. First, you will need to install Space Desk Server on your desktop or laptop where you run your simulator. There's no real configuration needed, just make sure your computer is connected to the network. The server app will run in the background and you can verify the IP address in the status window. The second step is to install the Space Desk client on your tablet or phone. It can be downloaded for free from the App or Play Store. Once installed, Open the app and the client will scan the network and find the server you just configured. Just tap the IP address to connect and immediately the tablet or phone gets added to your main computer as an additional monitor. There are extra configuration options in the client app. You can play around with these to enhance or reduce the performance. You can now use this as an additional monitor in your flight simulator. Please comment below if you have any questions. As I mentioned before, these videos are helpful to many in the flight sim community, so please share. Make sure to also like and subscribe and view the other useful videos in my channel. Thanks for watching.